Hi, my name is Shailesh Singh and today we are talking about Galactic HF trial and Omicantem Micabil. Two trials came out in 2021, that is this year. One was published in NEGM. This article came out in uh, January 2021. The article was titled uh, Cardiac Myosin Activation with Omicantem Micabil in Systolic Heart Failure. The, this was the original uh, Galactic HF trial and in June 2021 another article came out in JAK which was titled Effect of Ejection Fraction on Clinical Outcomes in Patients Treated with Omicamptive Micabil in Galactic HF. Myotropes are a new class of drugs that increase myocardial functions by directly augmenting cardiac sarcomere functions. Omicamptive Micabil is a cardiac myosin activator and it is the first drug of this class. How does this drug act? It increases systolic function by facilitating actin and myosin interaction. It, the drug increases the contractility by augmenting power stroke at the end of systole and contractile functions of atria. So what do we already know about Omicamptem Micabil? So the cosmic HF trial has shown that Omicamptem Micabil in patients with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction increases the ejection fraction, it improves myocardial strain, it increases LV systolic ejection time, it decreases LV systolic volume, it decreases LV diastolic volume, it decreases the levels of the natriuretic peptides and it decreases the heart rate. The Galactic HF trial was published in NEGM this year. The Galactic HF trial included more than 8,000 patients and patients were randomized in one is to one fashion in Omicamptem Micabil group and the placebo group. These patients belonged to various functional class of heart failure. They could be in NYHA class 2, 3 or 4. All the patients had ejection fraction less than or equal to 35%. Both outpatient and inpatient heart failure patients were admit, uh, were enrolled in the trial. The outpatient heart failure patients were required to have a heart failure hospitalization within last one year or an urgent visit to emergency department. Patients with anti-pro BNP levels more than 400 in sinus rhythm or more than 1200 in atrial fibrillation are enrolled or patients with BNP level more than 125 in sinus rhythm and more than 375 mm -hmm in atrial fibrillation were enrolled in the study. Patients were on good guideline directed medical therapy. The Galactic HF trial excluded the patients on mechanical circulatory support, patients who had recent acute coronary syndrome. Patients with systolic blood pressure less than 85 mmHg were also excluded and so were the patients with EGFR less than 20. Omicamptem Micabil was used in the dose of 25 mg, 37.5 mg or 50 mg twice daily. The primary composite outcome for this trial was a heart failure event or cardiovascular death. The baseline characteristics of the patients in both the groups that is Omicamptem Micabil and the placebo group were similar. The mean age of the patients was 64 years and females formed only one fifth of the trial population. Whites constituted more than 75% fraction of the total population enrolled. Most of the patients were in either NYHA 2 or NYHA 3 functional class. More than 50% patients were in NYHA class 2 and more than 40% patients were in NYHA class 3. Only 3% patients were in NYHA class 4. Most of the patients included in this trial belong to Eastern Europe, Russia or Western Europe. Patients in Galactic HF trial were on good GDMT. There was good use of ACE inhibitor ARBs or ARNI. More than 85% patient population was on these drugs. More than 95% patients were on beta blockers. MRAs or mineralocorticoid receptor antagonists were used in more than three-fourths of the patients. CRT use was less than 15% patients. ICDs were used in one-third patients. And SGLT2 inhibitors were used in 2 to 3% patients. The authors found that in patients with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, Omicantem Micabil decreased the primary endpoints of heart failure hospitalization or cardiovascular death. An important thing to note in this trial was there was no increase in myocardial infarction, ventricular tachycardia or death. This is important to note because 
most of the drugs which we are using as an inotropic agent be it injectable or oral inotrope all of these drugs are associated with a risk of either myocardial infarction or ventricular arrhythmia uh, another lesson which we learned from the galactic hf trial was omicantem micabil had no effect on death from cardiovascular or any cause another trial was published in jack in 2021 Uh, in this trial the authors investigated the influence of ejection fraction on treatment effects of omicantem micabil in galactic hf trial this study said that median ejection fraction of the patients in the galactic hf trial was 28% and 70% of the patients in the galactic hf trial had ejection fraction less than 30% patients with lower ejection fraction were more likely to be younger more likely to be males more likely to be non whites more likely to be belonging to us canada or western europe and more likely to be in nyh3 or nyh4 functional class they were more likely to have non ischemic cardiomyopathy and they were more likely to be in nyh3 nyh4 functional class and they were more likely to have lower systolic blood pressure they had higher heart rate higher levels of nt pro bnp and higher levels of cardiac troponin CAD hypertension atrial fibrillation and type 2 diabetes mellitus was less common in patients who had lower rejection fraction in galactic hf these patients had higher symptoms and with lower rejection fraction there was higher use of arni evobradine icd or crt the trial is found patients who had lower rejection fraction had greater reduction in nt pro bnp and patients who had lower rejection fraction had greater reduction in heart failure events Omicamte mecarbil was also found to decrease heart rate it could be due secondary to sympathetic withdrawal in patients with heart failure in some patients it was found that omicamte mecarbil increased troponin levels the beneficial effects of omicamte mecarbil is most pronounced among the patients with ejection fraction less than 25% so the ejection fraction of 25% is that sweet spot where the effects of omicamte mecarbil begin to occur and therefore this drug should be considered in patients with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction with ejection fraction less than 25% to decrease heart failure hospitalization an interesting subgroup looked at the influence of presence or absence of atrial fibrillation on the effects of omicamtem micabil and it was found that omicamtem micabil had greater effects in patients who were in sinus rhythm why is this happening omicamtem micabil increases the atrial contractility and it increases the systolic power stroke so it is possible that the drug benefits only in those patients in whom atri- increase in atrial and ventricular contractions may produce a beneficial outcome so what do we learn from this uh, study published in jack we learn that it ejection fraction and atrial rhythm can help us identify the patients who are going to benefit the most from omicamtem micabil